All right, I'm up and running. I was going to do this live, but I got to get verified. So it's going to take 24 hours before I do live videos. So I'm just going to upload these. This is going to be the halftime analysis for the uh, <clears throat> the Brooklyn Nets have the um, Boston Celtics playing. And it's the uh, game three. So... That's a halftime analysis. Basically, um, man, Brooklyn kind of came out slow. Uh, it looked like Boston, um, you know, they, they set the tone. They set the pace. Um, pretty much, like, slapped Brooklyn in the face. Um, Katie was, you know, not shooting much. I think he only had, like, five shots for the half. Um, he went three for five. So, they're still, um, you know, he hasn't figured out that. Boston defense, KD really has to step up for, um, you know, everybody's saying he's at least the top three player in the NBA, and he's really not acting like it right now. Um, you know, he's, he's been soft. Um, even this, both these these first two games, um, he's just been shooting, do, doing these outside shots, and he has, like, low percentage shooting these shots. Um, I think he kind of figured something out this last game, game two. Towards the end, he was kind of attacking the basket a little bit more, and he was getting free throws. It was a little bit late, I feel like, though, in that game. Um, but I, I think he kind of figured something out in, in the end of that game. So um, we'll see. You know, they, they definitely can't really lose this game. Go down 3-0. It's a big game for them right now. So, um Going on into that, that second quarter, um, it was about seven minutes left in that second quarter. Bruce Brown kind of sparked him. I think he got a steal, like right there in that seven-minute mark, and kind of um, it got Brooklyn going. I think Brooklyn was down maybe 12 or something at that point when uh, um, Bruce Brown, he got that steal, easy bucket, and he got them going. <clears throat> It, um, they ended the half, I think it, they might have had a one-point game um, and in this half. So Bruce Brown, you know, they get the, they sparked the team. They started going. Um, you know, the others playing better at home. Um, that supporting cast with Katie and Kyrie, you know, they're not really playing too good. So having the others there. Um, helping out Bruce Brown and um, I can't think of the other the center that they have. Um, Seth Curry, you know, he was doing his thing out there. So it was good um, group effort going, you know, for for these guys. Um, the others are really going to have to step up this, this next half um, so they can get that win. Uh uh, I think I said Kyrie has the three fouls going into this inning and the half. Kyrie really has to uh, step it up. He's been that superstar. He really hasn't played, you know, much of this this whole season, being out with the COVID thing and and the shot and all that. So um, he's got fresh legs. He really has to step it up. Um, they they need to get that win. Boston. Like I said, they set the tone, came out strong. Uh, this is really going to be a coaching battle. We're going to see who can make the right adjustments going into this this next half. Uh, it's good, like I said, going to be a big game for Brooklyn. Um, they can't go down 3-0. Talked about KD. He, he really needs to start attacking the basket more and get out of these you know, mid-range jumpers that he can hit, but he really hasn't been hitting. He can attack the basket a little bit more, get these uh, these free throws, get in rhythm, and then he could get, you know, start stretching the floor out a little bit more. Uh, I already talked about Kyrie Irving. He broke out. He needs to really break out in this next half, get the whole team going, get these other guys um, that play better at home going. That's basically all I got for my notes for this half. <clears throat> and really, just off the top of the head, I picked Big Boston going in seven. But really, getting a little bit nervous, man. 
the the coaching coming out of Brooklyn, it's really not it's not there. I know that they said, "Oh, we don't need a coach," but you're seeing a well coached team, a well oiled machine coming in here. Boston can score. Boston's deep. We're seeing that this first half, you know, Boston can come. They got shooters. They can attack. They got their big man back. He's looking good. So, Brooklyn might be in trouble. I, it might not go. It might not go seven like everybody wants, man. This is a it's good series still, even though, you know, Boston won these two at home. I think that the home teams, they got the advantage. The others play better. But Boston's, they got that defense, and they can score. It looks like they we're, we're getting back into the second half. Uh, like I said, I was going to go live, do this little halftime breakdown. Let's see if we're getting back into this game. Um, we got a little highlight going. If, man, that defense go, going on KD. KD really has to figure it out. Man, he can't be, you know, top top five, top three. People want to say he's the best right now, but he's not. He's not looking like it. It's not. He's not. He's got to. He's got to figure it out. You know, he can't be talking about top five. They got his field goal percentage, game one, 23%, 23 points, nine for 24. Nine for 24. Come on. That was the, those mid range. That game two, four for 17. Those are, I mean, he got 27 points, but it was like uh, at that end, <clears throat> he started attacking the basket a little bit more in that game, too. So he needs to start t attacking the basket a little bit more. Uh, the game uh, just started the third quarter. Go ahead and get this uploaded. I wanted to do this live, but I got to wait 24 hours. Come on, YouTube. I know. I, I know. We got bots. But put your boy on. All right, man. I'll be back after this. I'll take some notes. Brooklyn really they got they got to get this or they in trouble. Let's go, HDTV.